This video is going to focus on the exercises that we document in our workout and also the goals and how we, how we uh, lay out our phases in our program. A lot of kids stay on the same phase because they're, they're so busy with multiple sports or busy schedules and that kind of stuff. But if we, if we find kids that are really completing the full workouts and they're in there three times a week, uh, we can change these phases anytime we want. But this is our, our starting point. Uh, if you look at the four exercises in workout A, and then you see the four exercises in workout B, uh, we have the name of the exercise, uh, the column that says weight and reps. So weight is obviously how much weight you're going to be doing. Reps are how many reps are recommended, and there's room to write in how many you actually did, either putting a check mark there or um, writing in a lower number of reps if you didn't get them all. But we'll get into that later. The lifts that we choose to do are... We have four major lower body exercises and four major upper body exercises. They are either multiple joint exercises or they, they concern themselves with major muscles. The other stuff is great. Some single joint work with leg extensions, leg curls, calf extensions, biceps, triceps. That's all great too, but we don't really document those. Um, those are, you're welcome to do at the end of your workout, but let's focus on these first. So in workout A, we have squats, which is a major lower body push. Um, our other lower body exercise is a back extension or a Romanian deadlift. So we have sort of a quad focus here and a hamstring and glute focus here. Um, for our upper body lifts, we have two horizontal lifts. So we have a horizontal push in a bench press and a horizontal pull, which is a row. So we're going to train our pectorals and our trapezius here. Um, after the weights, you can see what the goal is for that phase. So the, the final goal for this phase, going from lift number one all the way through nine lifts, is to, at the end, have a, a significant improvement in our five rep max. We have different sets that um, have different number of repetitions, but by the end, we want to see a kid have um, one number for sets of five early on, and then hopefully there's a significant improvement by the end. So the last time they're lifting for a five, four, three, that, that number that they're lifting for five is, is clearly different. It doesn't happen all the time, but hopefully it happens a lot. So workout A, we have those four lifts, and then workout B takes care of some other things. Workout B, we start off with a hang clean or a hang snatch. That's going to work on the speed of our hips. It also has a built-in calf component and um, jumping component to it. So uh, we like that for our speed uh, for our hips. And then deadlift is um, another variation for our, for our hips and our hamstrings. So we've, we've taken care of some major muscles in our legs with some, some major lifts. For our upper body on this one, this is a vertical day for our upper body. So we focus on pushing up with shoulder press and pulling down with either pull-ups or lat pull-downs. Um, the goals here are also lift, listed. Uh, so our, our go-to range for cleans and snatches as well as deadlifts is to improve our three rep max. We keep those reps pretty low because those, those lifts can be... Um, pretty serious and we don't want people to get tired and fatigued with those. Those are very power strength oriented lifts so we don't go too high on the reps with those. Uh, for shoulder press we start with five very similar to the bench and the squat and then for pull ups and lap pull downs we, we start with ten and those can be adjusted based on our goals and the phase that we, we're doing. So those are the eight exercises that we document all the time and again once those are finished you can, uh, you can do your other stuff but we really want people focusing on getting some m multiple sets on all of those lifts.